Rich! I'm glad you returned. Something terrible has happened. Let me guess, the free mine has been assaulted by the guards from the old camp. Nobody saw them coming? Hang on. How? But of course. You found out about it in the old camp. Gorn arrived here just before you did. What could have caused Gomez to dare to take such an aggressive step? He should be aware that such a heinous act can only provoke war. The old mine collapsed after water seeped in. Collapsed? Of course. Then the whole thing makes sense. Gomez has his back to the wall. He's more dangerous than ever. Now that he doesn't have anything left to lose, he'll do anything. Gomez has had all of the Magicians of Fire killed. Had them killed? Why in Beliar's name would he do a thing like that? They were against the attack on the Free Mine and opposed Gomez. Then we're all doomed. Without the other six Magicians, we'll never be able to control the concentrated power of the massive ore mound. But in spite of that, I thank you for passing this dangerous message on to me. I have been exiled from the old camp because I have helped you. You don't belong to the old camp any longer? Then I welcome you to our community. Does that mean that I now belong to the Guild of the Magicians of Water? Not yet. First you need to take the Oath of Water. But I've already taken the Oath of Fire. Hmm. It doesn't mean you're breaking your vow. Uh, I don't understand. You're extending your vow. That way you'll become a magician of both elements. Then you'll have the force of fire, as well as the wisdom of water. I'm ready to take the oath. Servant of the fire, you shall now receive the blessing of the water. Now speak the words of the oath. I swear by the might of the gods. I swear by the might of the gods. And by the power of the holy water. And by the power of the holy water. That my knowledge and my deeds from now on and forever shall be one with the water. That my knowledge and my deeds from now on and forever shall be one with the water. Until my body shall return to the realm of Beliar and the source of my life shall dry out. Until my body shall return to the realm of Beliar and the source of my life shall dry out. With this oath, you unite the power of the fire and the blessing of the water within you. You have now bound together what was apart before. May your life be a sign of the unification of the elements. Wear this robe as a sign of your bond with the holy water and with Adanos. For the honor of magic. When you sent me to the Magicians of Fire, you mentioned there was somebody. Well, I had hoped we could make it without his help, but the way things are developing, who is he? All right, all right. Many, many years ago. Give me the shortened version, please. Be patient. Well, when we, the 12 magicians, created the barrier back then, our magic powers were directed and controlled by a 13th magician. A 13th magician? I thought there were only 12. Most people who did not experience the early days of the colony believe that. This 13th magician was our leader. All this took place before we were divided into the circles of fire and water. But he left the old camp, which was once the only camp of the colony. What is this 13th magician called? His name is Zardus. Hardly anybody remembers the old stories about him. The ones who do just call him the Necromancer. Why did he leave the old camp? He started to investigate the invocation of undead and magical creatures. Gomez was not the only one who began to worry. Most of the other magicians opposed him as well, and his unholy deeds. What happened then? Unlike Gomez, he was no butcher, so he avoided the conflict and left. Where is this magician today? He lives in seclusion, in his tower in the middle of the Orc land. That's just about the southernmost point of the colony. I'll make my way to Zardus and ask him for help. He's the only one that can help us now. If he knows no way out, or doesn't want to help us. He will. There is one other problem. A problem? Yes. Over the years, we've tried to get in touch with Zardus several times. 
but it looks like he prefers to remain undisturbed. What does that mean? None of the messengers ever return from his tower. You'll have to find a way to get past his creatures. Looks like this is going to be interesting. How will I get past his creatures? If I knew that, I would tell you. I'd advise you to do some research in our library. Maybe you'll find something in the old books about the strengths and weaknesses of magically invoked creatures. I'll rummage through the library, and don't worry, I'll be back. Can you instruct me? There is one more circle you don't know yet. I shall teach you as soon as you're ready. I am ready to enter the fifth circle. So be it. I shall teach you the power of the fifth circle, the storm of fire, the wave of ice, and the power to destroy the undead are now spells whose runes you can use. But the mightiest spell of the fifth circle is the ripple of death. If you ever possess this rune, you'll have dangerous powers. Be careful to use this kind of magic as little as possible. It's a gift from the god of darkness. You have now learned everything I can teach you. Expose your limits, then you'll recognize your true power. I'd like to wear the high robe of water. The time has come. You are worthy of wearing the high robe of water. May you return in one piece? Hello! I met Diego and Milton in front of the old camp. That's good news. They want to meet you and Lester. At your usual rendezvous? Thanks. There's nothing more valuable than good friends in troubled times like these. You're almost one of us by now. You're reliable. What have you got planned now? Our entire defense strategy will have to be changed. That takes time. Until Lee and his people are ready, I'll join Kord's Provisional Guard. Are you planning a counterattack? Not yet, but the day will come. If ever you're looking for me, start here and walk towards the mine. I'll be on guard there. No sweat, man. Come over here. You okay? I'm hiding away here. I don't care for the trash those guards are pulling off. 
But I've taken some pretty good stuff from the arsenal. If you need a weapon, just let me know. Show me what you have.
I'm injured. Can you help me? Take this healing potion. How are you doing? Hey, what are you doing here? The old mine collapsed after water seeped in. So? All the magicians of fire are dead. 
Gomez had them assassinated. It won't be easy to straighten that out. I met Diego and Milton in front of the old camp. They want a meeting at the usual place. It was about time! What happens now? I'm gonna stay here a bit longer to study the old books. Uh, I don't understand. Master E. Berrien used to say, a student tries to move things with his hands and feet. The master moves them with his spiritual powers. Okay, okay, I get the point. Take care. Thank you. I'll be on my way now. May the sleeper protect you. <laughs>